Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy On Technologies. Welcome to my Spring Framework project work series. In my previous video session, I discussed about how to save a contact using this add contact link, right? And uh, today in this video series, I am going to discuss about how to list all the contacts which is added in your phone book, right? So let's have a look at the contact controller and we have added this link in previous video. So here when you request from user slash C list a page will be displayed and the page will be your C list. This is your JSP page and we have created this page here. You can see this. Look at this and this is to do right. So we have to continue our job here. So now uh, before moving to the coding part let me add this link here. Look at this. This uh, contact list link I have to add here. So you can add from the menu page. So go to the menu and uh, we can create a link here. Just a minute. So we are working for the user role and this is the role 2 is a general user and 1 is admin, right? So this is the menu for general user. I can add here like this. This is better. This is user menu and I'm going to copy one link here to prepare the link for contact so this is your C list URL C list and I'm going to add this C list and uh, add this to here okay this is ready now it's ready link is ready and you can refresh this page and you check this link look at this when you click on the contact list you will go to this to do page right so here I'm going to copy my layout so some layout you can copy from the previous page so what I can do just a moment I can copy this home page layout right so let me copy this home page so where's the dashboard for user this is the page you can copy and just paste here okay and you can change here this is your contact list and uh, everything will be same and you can change here this contact list and we'll add here options so this is to do so just a moment now check this contact list and you can see this page and I change the title here contact list and uh, this is the heading okay you can change the size this should be your h3 so a little small fine so this is the contact listing and now I'm going to check the database part of this uh, contact service uh, of, uh, of this contact listing so here do we have all the contact listing related service preparation so go to your services so this is the package contact app services and this is my contact service implementation and what are the what are the methods we have added here save contact update contact delete contact right and now yes this is important so here we can find user contacts so you will see all list of contacts when you pass the user id so this user id will be a logged in user id it's a registered recently logged in user so you have to pass the recently logged in id here and you will get all the contacts here right so this is already implemented now it's time to call that method here so this is contact service it is already injected here so dependency is already configured now you just add here object so this is add attribute so let me call here this contact list and uh, you can get all the contacts from contact service dot this is the method find user contact this is correct and here you have to pass user id so we need to pass here user id before that i need to access the user id from session so you can access here http session and who is the currently logged in user who is the recent user you can get it from the session so this is integer id and get it from the session session dot get attribute and uh, what is the 
attribute name here its user id so when you set this user id so while login so when user has successfully logged in we have set the user details in session scope and that's what i'm getting here okay fine and pass this user id here okay so this is the uh, use uh, we'll get here all the contact list for recently logged in user and that will be added in C list now it's time to get the list from your JSP page so let me show you how to access this attribute list so I'm going to remove this to do and just for testing I just want to print it here so all the contacts will be printed here simply like this look at this here so something you can see here this is your first contact object this is your second contact object this is your third contact object means there are three contacts added by this recently logged in user right so because every contact is represented by one contact object so we have three objects here you can see here these three objects one two and three means we have got the data from the database which is displayed in your view now this is not the right way to display the contact so for user you have to prepare here table HTML table you can create using this tag and simply I'm going to prepare this simple view this is border and you can improve the view at your level I'm going to just demonstrate the simple way to communicate with the data and present the data in your view so this is TR and this is how you can add here TD okay so this is your serial number then you can add here this is contact ID so this is C ID is representing contact ID and uh, you can add here few more columns this is name of the contact and this is phone number and this is email and then address will be there and I can add here remark and one more thing I'm going to add one more column here at the end of the in the last column for action so we'll add here link to add it or uh, delete the contact so this is ready and you can check this okay we have got here header serial number contact ID name phone email address remark action now we can add here we can iterate the data using JSTL core library so have you added here JSTL core library no so just add this so this is your JSTL core library so this is JSP JSTL core just a minute this is correct so JSP JSTL core and prefix this is C and now you can add here C colon for each tag you can use from the JSTL library and here I'm going to repeat the records which is fetched from database so now you can pass here items so all the items items are nothing but your contact context so this is your contact list are the items and in each iteration we'll get here a record which is represented by C C stands for contact which is present in your contact list so here one more thing I can add here so I can add here status this is your var status okay so I'm going to call here ST and this ST will be used to get the serial number here so look at this ST dot count just a moment just check it here refresh this you will see here all the sequences properly right one two three we have three records now you can print the ID so this is from the contact object so this is contact ID if you required you can display here okay this is contact ID and you can display the contact name from this object so this is name you can check this right so these are three contacts now you can add here this phone number this is correct then you can add here email 
then address then remark right you can check this right we have got contacts here look at this so this is serial number contact ID name phone email address remark and action so we'll add here action link so this will be link for edit and uh, one more link is delete right so this is how we can display the record and uh, I think this is enough for this discussion if you have any query regarding this video discussion you can ask in comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching and see you next video